welcome. My name is Prue or Prue LaRue and today we're unboxing my Beauty Loop level 3 box. Pick this up from the Mecca Maxima in North Links. I just finished filming my Flower Beauty first impressions video and yes I kept the ears on. I'm sorry I love them. But let's just go straight into this box. I think this is one of the best boxes I ever got. I've already unboxed this on my Instagram but let's check it up on YouTube too. So depending on the amount of money you spend at Mecca, depends on what level you are. I believe at $1,300 above, you are level 3, $800 above, level 2, $300 above, level 1. Level 1, you just get sample sachets, level 2, two deluxe sizes, and two, two sachets, I think, small samples, and then level 3, all deluxe products. This is a cool little book that tells you a little bit about all the products that you got and usually they are bestseller products that they've got in the box but this is the best box I've ever gotten. I'll link the video I did for the last time I unboxed this if you want to see what they did last time and this is just a super cool thing that they do in Australia and Mecca we have Sephora but Mecca is like our Sephora as well they've got a lot of the brands and in Australia a lot of companies can only sell through one brand. So like Urban Decay, I can only buy that from Mecca. I can't even buy it from the online site in the US. But I, this one, I got some really cool products and I'm super pumped. It comes wrapped up in this, this little box. <coughs> and they are just cute. So my number one, my first product I got is the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base Prep the skin and create a smooth hydrated base with this weightless priming cream so yeah it's a primer I guess Bobbi Brown's actually sold at Maya too mmm smells really nice it's like citrus freshy all right I'm gonna try this out soon I am very excited <laughs> the for the second product because it is amazing this is the NARS blush in orgasm I do own it in like a really old version let me pull it out so this is the only full-size NARS product I have I always think I got this when I was like 18 or something my aunt bought it from the US so I think maybe it's even before it have been 11 years ago so I am very excited to have this in its proper small thing they have these little plastic things I can just throw out now but it's just super cute. Just for its price size comparison, you can sort of see. But I still have a uh, mini of Deep Throat that I bought last year and I've barely hit pan on it. I tend to just, I have a lot of products. So let's just a swatch if you've never seen this one. But it's just a very shimmery, bron like a shimmery blush. My, oh, let's just top it off. Let's put some on. And this is my sister-in-law's favourite blush. She only uses this one. And I bought it for her for Christmas. So I'm just laying it on top. I've got that Flower Beauty underneath. And this maybe has that more of that... I don't know. Curious. But it's just beautiful. I'm so excited to have this in my collection. This is the best. Um, and these usually, like, I think I got two for Christmas for like 30 bucks in that little container. So this is like $15, maybe. That's, and I got it for free because I spent a lot of money at Mecca. That's like the best, the best gift ever. Next up, I got the Gold Fudden MT Bright Eyes. Targeted brightening treatment for tired looking eyes dark circles and the entire ocular region gently pat along the eye contour area including the lid with your fingertip and it's just like a cream for tired eyes a little white thing no real smell and I've, I've never heard of this brand though gold fladden I wonder if I've got any tired eyes let's just chuck some on here oh wow a little bit goes a long way I mean, yeah, I'll give it a try. 
I can wait like till after night shift and see how tired my eyes are. Oh, it didn't occur to me. Sorry, going back to the blush because I'm just like so excited for this. So the full size I have here has 4.8 grams of product and this has 3.5 grams of product. Oh, holy shit. All right, I'm going to go just look up quickly and see if the current full sizes of NARS blushes are that size. Because it shouldn't be that close. So yeah, that's the current size difference they are. So the minis, uh, I saw they went for $22 for one. So they're pretty much like a pretty decent deal, 3.5 grams. And the fact I got that for free, hell yeah. I'm also pretty excited about this. This is the Drunk Elephant Busty Number no. 9 Jelly Cleanser. This innovative jelly cleanser removes all traces of daily impurities. Blah, blah, blah. It's a cleanser. <laughs> but what does, like, jelly mean? Oh, oh, shit. <laughs> I just squeezed it all out. <laughs> I did not realise that the uh, lid was a hole. Well, I've already wasted a fair amount of product. Wow. All right. Um, is it? Yeah, yeah. That's very jelly consistency. It's not like we're getting a lather. <laughs> oh god! I made such a mess. All right. So. This is. <laughs> I like thought the lid screwed off. See? Like that. But the lid unclips, there's a little hole, and then you squeeze the product out. Pro tip. Um, I'm excited to try that. I, I just. I like a cleanser, and I'm excited to try some drunk elephant products. I haven't actually tried anything really of theirs. I hope you enjoyed my Mecca Level 3 unboxing. We've got a few more unboxings coming this week. I've got the Colourpop mystery bag coming. Good old international shipping. It is in Sydney on its way to me in Brisbane <laughs> someday. And I've also got the Beautylish lucky bag coming soon. I uh, It is just been accepted by Australia Post like last Tuesday, but it hasn't moved since then. So I think that means it's on the plane or it's in, it's being sorted probably in Sydney. So I will hopefully have it by the end of the week. I cannot wait to see. And also, I haven't watched as many Colourpop mystery bags. I saw Annette's and then I felt like I didn't need to watch anymore. So I'll link hers down below if you want to see what's in it and what her thoughts on the bag were. And the Beautylish unboxing. I'm sort of staying away from it too much, but I have seen a bit of what's on in the box. But I want to be surprised. So I can't wait. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I absolutely appreciate it. And I do. Mwah.